All right, hello everyone. Welcome, thank you for being here, for tuning in. Before we get started with the tarot, I wanted to go ahead and start the reading with a prayer first so we could all just have that wonderful, good, loving energy here to protect us, okay? So um, you can skip forward if you like. Those of you who want this prayer, go ahead and stay here with me. And we're just going to jump in and get started first before the tarot. Thank you. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Dear God, source, the creator, and the all that is of good, love, light, and healing, may you please surround each human being who comes across this video and this channel with a protective force field layer of white light to guide and protect them. Now and after this video, may they feel well and begin to heal themselves and sleep well and gain a sense of love and inner peace within them. Let them know they are truly powerful on their own and that they are not alone. Any negative entity or energies or people trying to hurt them, may you banish them and remove them from these people and their homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. Now we can start with the tarot. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on today with you Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And um, what else here? I do offer same day personal readings for $33. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Oopsies, hold on, there we go. Sagittarius. So it looks like here, um, busy, busy, busy beaver, you know, um, I do see here, you know, there could be a lot, you know, about a lot of people, loved ones, society, a community, you know, um, finances, family, loved ones, like I said, marriage, relationships, but it doesn't have to be here. But with you here, I do get the sense here that you're definitely in this energy of, you know, working hard, finances, money, business, you know, what do you get, like, what are you doing for now in the long term? And you're working on that, I do see here, okay? 
And so with that, there's a lot of, like I said, stability, you know, and working hard with figuring out what it is that you want to do. Okay. And it looks like here that with that, there's a lot of love and emotion, like maybe at first because of what you do for work, possibly, or maybe who you work with, it could be stressful at first. It could have been emotionally like, like an upset, annoying or frustrating, but you ended up trusting yourself and your own emotions and allowing yourself to feel and therefore knowing exactly what to do and having a lot of compassion for yourself and for others that actually Sagittarius, it caused you to realize it could have been about a person. It could have been about two different people. I don't know, but I do see here that, you know, it made you at first possibly want to become more toxic or aggressive or obsessive or go back to addictions or whatever it may be. But because of that, you actually discovered and realized, like, you know what it is, who it has been of anything of toxic negativity that's not ideal for you. So you became aware of it and you also got the warning. And so because of that, you chose to want to make positive changes for yourself right when you found out and realized, okay, this is not it for me. This is not good for me. It doesn't feel good either. And I'm tired of this. And so with you being in that energy, it really shifted and changes things in a, positive, in a positive way here for you where now good things can start to come through because you're removing that toxicity about yourself, about others. And it could be anything, a mindset, you know, things, whatever it is here. And so the minute you became aware of that, that's exactly what caused you to get in this energy of making those positive changes. Now you're excited to move forward, relay a message. There's good news. Something good is happening here. Okay. I do see, um, yeah, you could be, I was going to say parental figures. It could be family. It could be about kids, but it doesn't have to be here. But anyway, I do get the sense here that, you know, you're ready to move quickly. You receive good news. You're about to be the bearer of good news. You're about to say something to someone. There's something, you're moving quick in a very motivated, inspired way. So quick that there's traveling, there's relocating, there's moving very fast, a lot of progression. And I see that because things are moving very fast at first, it may have scared you to where you became a little cold and distant, right? And um, maybe you felt like you had to be strategic and manipulative, right? But then it also, it could have caused some arguments, you know, with others around you or anger, frustration. But then you also decided to pull back more and actually be neutral and realize like, hold on, okay, well, wait a minute here. You're aware of a lot that's going on. And so once it stopped becoming so frustrating or aggro or, you know, fighting with others, then you understood what to do here. And now there's just, a, <clears throat> excuse me. Now there's a sense of family. There's a sense of community. There's a sense of working to get together well with others, contracts, business, abundance, money. Now you know what to do. You feel fulfilled. And clearly something ideal and good is happening because there's a celebratory energy here and off you go with this new journey and this new path. There's success, there's something beautiful, there's something of celebratory energy. People are celebrating you, you're celebrating something amazing that's going on, new place, new money, new house maybe for some of you here. It could be anything here, really feeling abundant. A lot of trustworthy friends and circle groups here being there for you and loved ones and trusted ones here. You just having fun and feeling free and going where you feel free. And that's what I have for you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thank you so much for being here, for tuning in. And I hope this reading did help you. We're going to close out with a closing prayer. All right. So we can continue to protect ourselves and feel good for today. Okay. Closing prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your presence with us this day. As we depart from this space now, we ask you to bless us throughout the remainder of the day and guide us safely home. Do not let the learning and conversations of this gathering die, but instead may they continue to ruminate within us and bear fruit in our ministries throughout the year. Until we find ourselves together again, we ask this in the name of Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, Source, the creator, and the all that is of good, love, light, and healing. May you please surround each human being who comes across this video and this channel with a protective force field layer of white light to guide and protect them now and after this video. May they feel well and begin to heal themselves and sleep well and gain a sense of love and inner peace within them. Let them know they are truly powerful on their own and that they are not alone. 
any negative entity or energies or people trying to hurt them, may you banish them and remove them from these people and their homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. Bye.